Welcome to the Uncommon Transformation Television Series. Thank you for joining us today. A quick look at our package today continues to unveil the yearly celebration of Aquipum State's Creation Day. The 23rd of September 2013, for the government and people of Aquipum State took a rather different note, having guests from across the nation and proud indigents, both at home and in the diaspora, trip in their numbers to celebrate the uncommon transformation witnessed in the state. It was not just a celebration, but it was also an opportunity for the government to continue to unveil dividends of democracy to the people. Commissioning turnkey projects in every nook and cranny of the state, starting from hospitals, two schools, two roads, in areas that were heated or forgotten. Projects in the words of Governor Gautier that will stand the test of time. The day began and ended in a grand style from an interdenominational Thanksgiving service to a gala where guests were treated to a banquet and the people were happy. High points of the event witnessed the presentation of triple awards by the Global Peace Movement, one of which was the International Peace Award for Financial Clearance and Prudence to His Excellency Chief Godzilla Pabio. Still with you, Mephili Mbom. Don't go away. When Aquaibum State was created on September 23, 1987, there was great expectation amongst her people that if they forged a seamless unity among themselves, they could build a strong, virile, and prosperous state that would become a reference point in Nigeria. So when the drums were rolled out to celebrate the 26th anniversary, it provided a peep into the dreams of the Founding Fathers. So, true to the vision of our Founding Fathers and 26 years of statehood down the line, Aquaibum is on a steady path of economic prosperity. With a strong showing in infrastructure renaissance as attested to in the over 1,000 200 kilometers of quality roads and bridges, as well as concentric flyovers built by the Apabio led administration, aviation, transportation, health, sports, and tourism sectors, a model state was emerging from the throes of obscurity to celebrity, talked about by everybody in Nigeria as a beacon of good governance and a destination of choice. So when the drums were rolled out to celebrate the 26th anniversary of the state, it was indeed a celebration for the delivery of good governance and the dividends of democracy to the people. For an undiscerning onlooker, it was another routine celebration of yet another year. How wrong this can be. For the government and the good people of Aquaibum State, it was another opportunity for the celebration of harvest of projects, life-changing projects. It was another opportunity for Governor Akpabio to show that government can indeed work. Since Akpabio took over the reins of governance, the remodeling of the government house complex and the seat of power in tandem with the 21st century models have been a passion. This passion has seen to the building 
of a brand new governor's lounge and chapel, deputy governor's lounge, ICT compliant governor's office, a sumptuous banquet hall, sports facilities comprising squash and tennis courts, swimming pool and a pool house, also under construction, is a state-of-the-art media center, a complete redesigning of the environment that is aesthetically mind-blowing. To add to the ever-expanding infrastructure within this complex, on the 26th anniversary, Governor Akpabio commissioned yet another executive guest house to further boost the number of what his administration had developed earlier. To commence 26th anniversary commissioning ceremonies uh, by commissioning the VIP, VVIP guest house uh, built by five of Sekar men, one of the numerous uh, guest houses constructed for use by Kwai Wansai government and its people by Jula Beja Nigeria Limited, built to standard, built to size, to international standard. And I do this in the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The governor thanked the contractors for a job well done and offered a prayer for those who will live in the house. And my prayer is that whoever lives here, whoever comes here to rest, will have proper rest and then will have security Amen. and will see progress. Amen. And this will bring a lot of investment to acquire oneself and through this will be a nucleus to further development of the state. May our prayers come to Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the spirit of the 26th anniversary celebration, the transformation train traveled to Ikotekmene to commission projects at Akwaibum State Polytechnic, Ikorosuwa. On campus, Akwaibu was welcomed by the rector and a mammoth crowd of staring students. Projects commissioned were internal roads network on campus, street lighting and other infrastructure. Commissioning the project, the governor said possibilities have been turned to reality. In his usual cheerful manner, the governor hailed the students. Akwabiu thanked all those who labored to transform his dream into reality. Congratulate the rector and the students of this institution who are going to benefit from this uncommon transformation. I want to congratulate the commissioner for works and his team and all those who supervise this project and then make these possibilities a reality. I can see on the billboard possibility made a reality. And I can tell you that you ain't seen nothing yet. In line with my thoughts, on behalf of the government and the good people of our dear state, I now commission the about almost eight kilometers of internal routes of the Polytechnic, complete with street lights and villages for use by students and visitors alike to come to our Polytechnic and for the benefit of God, in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Commissioner for Works, whose ministry supervised the work, the rector and the contractor, paid glowing tributes to the governor, emphasizing that before the bulldozers came, the place was nothing to talk about. This is a school that was established way back in 1992. But your excellency, it was a story time until you came to the floor and you have conquered. We are the indigenous company, we are able to do this. All the respect to say here, 
Thus, Governor Pabio has been passionate about making sure his people enjoy health abundantly. Prior to the 26th anniversary celebration, his administration had built and commissioned five brand new general hospitals and made Medicare cost free for children ages 0 to 5 years, pregnant women, and the aged 70 years and above. It is worthy of mention that the 20th Anniversary Specialist Hospital is nearing completion. To further give verve to his health program, two brand new General Hospitals Arika and Eastern Obolo have been added to the fleet and commissioned on the occasion of this 26th anniversary. Atika, it was excitement galore as women chanting, singing and waving lined both sides of the hospital internal world to say welcome and well done to His Excellency. The Commissioner for Health, Dr. Memobasi Basi, revealed that before the upgrade, the New Ica General Hospital was a mere health center, but now it is fully restructured and equipped to a general hospital status ready for use. It is fully equipped, consists of all the four different departments. You have the obstetrics and gynecology, pediatrics, you have the internal medicine and surgery. It also has a laboratory complex. It has a modern mortuary, probably what I would say is the best mortuary in Accra State. State. Um, a six refrigerator mortuary, modern mortuary. Commissioning the project to the glory of God, the Kwaibum State Chief Executive told the people he wasn't done with them yet. Amidst the euphoria from the people, the governor dedicated the hospital. I'm not only commissioning the hospital in Ica today. I'm also commencing the treatment for patients in, and pregnant women in this hospital today. Even though they said that the hospital is already fully equipped, we have enough beds for people who want to lie down who are sick. We have doctors who are going to treat you. We have provided drugs already available. So your children under the age of five are going to have free medical treatment here now. And all your pregnant women are going to deliver free of charge. As soon as I became a governor, I told all the married women to get pregnant. It is on that note, 
that I joined the people of the Kaluku government area in the presence of our stakeholders, the women of Akwai State, the women of the Kaluku government area, the chairman of the Kaluku government, the councillors, the stakeholders, former governors, deputy governor, and all to celebrate 26th anniversary of the creation of Akwai State with the opening of this cottage hospital with all the facilities intact to save lives and to save the people of Ica. We have decided to bring healthcare delivery closer to the people of Ica. Yes, this is what government is all about. Yes. Touching the lives of the people in a special way. Yes. And that is why we refer to it as uncommon transformation. Yes. May this edifice bring life to Ica. Yes. May this bring a point of growth to Ica. Yes. May no sickness come near Ica again. Yes. Reduce all the diseases here. Amen. May no pregnant woman die here. Amen. May no child die here. Amen. May life return abundantly. Amen. May I do this in the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. Characteristically, Governor Kwabi is never satisfied commissioning a project and going away. On his way to such venues, his eyes are always roaming to see what more he could do. So it wasn't surprising when he said this. The road that is going towards where the army barracks is, we are starting that in October this year. Yes. We, are waiting for the, we are waiting for the dry season to commence the work. Am I right? So I'm not, even, I'm not through with you. You have to be alive to enjoy the dividends of this October transformation. After all, when I came to campaign, you said I should not campaign in Ikara, you give me 100%. Didn't you give me 100%? Yeah. Give me 100 yeah. And already you said to whom much is given, much is expected. Yeah. Please ask for me and I will deliver. Yeah. The hospital is equipped with some of the best medical facilities found anywhere in the modern world as we can see from the tour led by Dr. Basse. The people of Mparenin were not left out of the blessings poured out on Akwaibum people. For over two decades, no new road was built in Mparenin. Uncommon transformation crew was informed. Happily, Akwaibum's administration has changed all that. What with the construction of the beautiful Abia Ikoretefia Road, Governor Akwabio, who was visibly excited, said his administration will continue to serve the people in the best way possible by executing projects with direct bearing on their lives. And I said that this road will bring you progress. I said this road will not allow any accident to happen to you. I said through this road, you will have industries in Malaysia. I said through this road, your children will have work in industry. Road, progress will be your portion. Yeah. And I think it is well with this local government. Yeah. It is well with those who support this government. Yeah. I do so in the name of God the Father, yeah. God the Son, yeah. and God the Holy Spirit. Yeah. This is the Eastern Obolo 50 bed cottage hospital operator built by the administration of Governor Pabio. It is worthy of mention that this land and site was acquired 31 years ago and earmarked for this hospital, but was neglected by administration after administration. But in line with Akwabio's vision that no local government area under his administration will be left behind developmentally, this edifice is standing today. The governor's arrival at Okorote at about 7.30 p.m. was the high point of the day as a crowd let loose in utter excitement. Commissioner for Health, Dr. Emma Basibasi, gives a historical perspective. There is no project that typifies the uncommon transformation in a private state much more than this project. This plan has been acquired by part of the situation of the community. So you have come here and you have reached a primary hospital. This is a busy very hospital with a lot of facilities. Go 
so, as it was in Ica, so it was in Eastern Obolo. The governor talked to his people, asking them not to worry that he will be back next year to commission the road to the hospital. But you see, for the people of Eastern Obolo, this is just the beginning. Right yeah. one shall rise. Yeah. This is all for my singular privilege and honor as governor of Akwai State to commence the common transformation of Eastern Obolo local government. We commission this project to give life to you. In the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. and the Holy Spirit. The hospital is fully equipped and ready for use. His Excellency once again went on inspection tour round the facility. It was time to relax, unwind and have fun during the state gala organized to commemorate the 26th anniversary. High points for the night was the presentation of triple awards by Global Peace Movement International UK by its President General Mike Uyi to Governor Pabio. The awards are International Peace Awards for Peace, International Peace Awards for Uncommon Transformation and Development, and International Peace Awards for Financial Clearance and Prudence. The body is found in 30 countries in Europe, America, Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. Here, Mr. Uyi. Dr. Gosu Lakadu, COA, the executive board of Aquila and Private State Nigeria, West Africa, has been investigated and served and closed in 24 countries and one financially prudent with no further account anywhere in five continents. Congratulations. Governor Pabi was elated at the awards. Some time back. And I told them that as a lawyer, I believe that you cannot put something on nothing and expect it to stand. You have to make a choice between development and sharing of resources. Some people accuse me that yes, we have seen the flyovers, we have seen this, we have seen that, but we have no money in our pockets. And I said, if we share the money, we will not be able to build the infrastructure that can bring development to the state in the future. And I apologize to them. And at that time I said, in case you have any doubt that I challenge anybody in that market, that I go to the party, Governor of and said, I have no single phone account in any country in the world. And I still stand by that statement. And when I met that statement, I do not know. I have not met, I have I never met uh, Dr. Michael Eden. I have not seen, I didn't know anything about global peace movement. And I didn't know that there were NGOs inside that hall. And they decided to investigate. So they took it over a year to investigate. And finally they came out with the truth. Now you now know why you must try and take care of me when I leave office. If we were looting the money and sharing the money, you will not see the infrastructure. It's a simple truth. And I dedicate the awards to all of our white people who gave me the opportunity to serve them. And I'm saying that it is very well. Aquaibum State is a state dedicated to God. A few days earlier, the governor had led his people 
in a thanksgiving service to God Almighty for all his mercies. This is the story of the 26th anniversary celebrations, with more unfolding in the days, weeks and months ahead. The people call it Uncommon Transformation. Like I did, hope you really enjoyed it. That's what we compressed out of 10 hours of video recording. Top job there, you will agree with me. Of course, there is no disputing the fact that the transformational strides recorded by their populated administration has left memories in the sands of time. And no one can argue with that. But uh, tick, tick, six o'clock, and we have to go now. Till same time, same station next week. Goodbye and thank you for watching. On Common Transformation Television Series brings to you the latest information of the monumental achievements of the Governor at Pabio Led Administration. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to read the latest news, watch amazing videos, and listen to in depth analyses and interviews with the men and women working hand in hand with stakeholders to make a Kwaibum state better. You can also log on to our website www.uncommontransformation.tv for more information. On Common Transformation Television Series, bringing to you the right and current information when you need it.